Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube world. Let's get right down to business with the camera. The snap behind and follow camera from Mudrunner does not appear to be here. However, it's pretty close. So let me first show you the settings. If you go to video, console, PC, doesn't matter, and you go to legacy on, I don't know why you'd want to do this. But this is what you get. This is the right stick. That really convoluted, like, just really weird, you know, camera. And then as you're driving, would help if I released the handbrake. Like, look at that. Where's my truck going? Like, what, what's going on with that camera? It's absolute poo. And then if I were to turn... I just, I just can't stand it. Like, it, it follows you, but it, it shoves your... Tr like, what is that? Anyhow, enough complaining. Let's go back to the legacy off. Okay. Now, you can also change the distance with the left stick. Like that. Back and forth. You can actually even go further with the uh, field of view. So if you crank this up to even, like, let's say 100... Okay, see? You can zoom out further. But when you zoom in, you won't be able to zoom in further. Like, you still get the same range, but just at a further distance, or whatever. So, this is the good one. This is the one where, look at that, perfect orbital 360. There's no, like, weirdness. My truck isn't, like, going in a corner. And when I go up and down, it's literally tilting it. It's not, like, doing this weird thing where it's trying to... Batman you over the roof of the truck. Now, I am not touching the right analog stick, by the way. This is just the left stick. Now we're gonna... zoom in. Well, I'm gonna touch the stick now. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I actually do prefer to be a bit closer. If possible. We're gonna bring it back down to maybe 90. Actually, you know what? right back to default is actually good. Okay, no right stick. Pure pure left stick. Just so you know, I'm not making this up. I mean, it's following pretty good. Now, yeah, it turns your car a little bit off to the side there, slightly. But, like, look at that. That's pretty decent. Your camera is following you, and then as you drive and you stop, look at the license plate. It, it'll recenter your your truck. So that's actually really good. Now this is not a real estate simulator, so you can't buy homes as far as I know. But anyways, I just thought I would show you this because I'm super OCD with stuff like this. Now when you're here, sure, you can give it a little tap and it'll sort of recenter it. But all in all, if you just don't touch the right analog stick and you want that snap to behind the camera, it's more or less there. Seeing as I'm driving, it's centering my truck pretty much. Again, we're going to turn again. Just to kind of give you a bit of a feel. Again, it, it, it does shift your, your truck like a little bit. But all in all, it's really good. I'm, I'm happy. I mean, is it as good as the last game in terms of the controls for the camera? No. But all in all, just the general overall feel of this game is that I just like it a lot more than the last game. So something like the little bit of swaying of the truck from side to side doesn't really bother me too much, even though I'm incredibly anal about stuff like that. It's still very playable, as you can see. Just don't pay attention to the poor performance on my computer. Just don't pay attention to that. And the fact that I just caved myself in. We won't look at that either. So that's pretty much it. I think I'm stuck in the water there. That's pretty much the whole point of the video. Was just to show you the camera options. And that it may not be nearly as bad as you think. I gave you a little bit of gameplay there. Kind of showed you how it sways a little bit. But that it it's a lot better than Legacy. 
So if you were afraid that it was back on Legacy, fear not. You don't have to worry about that. Let me see if I'm able to get myself out of this puddle of water. It would actually be pretty pathetic if I couldn't. There we go. Turn off the air. All-wheel drive. Again, no right stick. Pure left stick. I'll turn it a little bit. There, I turned the right stick. Now I'm not touching it. It's just the left stick steering. Like I said, that's pretty wild. Is it Need for Speed, Forza Horizon snapped behind the truck perfectly? No. But it's pretty damn good. Just don't pay attention to the lag. That's just my computer that sucks. I can play other games on a higher setting than this game. And, and this is only on medium. And there's no way for you to lock your V-Sync to 30. You know how you can do like a half V-Sync or a double V-Sync or whatever it's called. But yeah. Again, this is all left stick. So yeah, it's it's good. I really do believe from the little bit I've been playing that this is a worthy successor to the succeeded Mud Runner experience. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. Now make sure the next time you leave the house that's what your truck's going to end up looking like in real life. And if you try and be a smartass and say, I don't have a truck. Well, when you do someday, that's what you're going to look like. Period. That's what you're going to end up buying. It'll look mint, and the moment you put the key in the ignition... Don't ask what that was. I'm weird. I can't help it. But the creepy guy in the truck staring at me is a little bit weirder. It looks like he's... Look at him. Look at him. He's all like... He's making me look good. What are you looking at? Anyways. If you want to subscribe to the channel, did I say that? You can. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And as always, I shall see all of you. Maybe some of you. Maybe none of you. In the next video. Bye for now.